Hi, my family, I want to do, I hope I want to do fine. The ministry we the in charge of energy and salon, we at the same time, EDSA, they under them. One of the man we did at the press conference yesterday, he highlighted the challenges so that they get in the energy sector. And at the same time, the human um, act we did on the energy, we did, it can create a lot of problems. Imagine transformer this on side. One person grab a go, a go vandalize that transformer. Day. How that they go suffer the people where they are run. And then they go really, really, really mona. So do you have, you will watch me, be a citizen in the area. Anybody who is see and they go do something around who say on a transformer day, you can write for a report for Olam because when it damage that transformer day, it will take a long, 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 long time before I get electricity. Even though at the same time we know say, EDSA they get their own problem. You can buy your unit, you know get the amount we buy, but you know get no say we go make that complaining. Now the country will get to but we not will give up. But at the same time we say we for be a good citizen for the maintain the property they will get. We know so we lost the property that they will very difficult for them to get up. So the man he highlight the challenges and the transform the way they do. Even the blackout where they right now because of the, they change that particular line where they feel say if they change that line they it will improve the energy sector like the west and also the east. It took a lot of things that we so it makes sense some of them, even though they get their own challenges and they get their own fault them, but at the same time we as a citizen also we get part for play. If I didn't have any, I see somebody where they go for damage the cable or pull the transformer, I may mean, write for court police or for arrest that kind of city for not give the policeman. Because I saw we take mente. Imagine transformer and that something that way very expensive. Whether go boil one before they come they come back. It will take long, 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 long time. So no will be good citizen for maintain the property the way they when a government property. At the same time it will benefit to it. So the mind it took a lot of things there about the energy sector, the improvement them where they don't do the expansion, all things where they do, but still we don't say energy. Now a very critical problem in a salon. But they don't do a lot of things there, we not transformation them, but they don't see enough, we know that one day. Now that make the pray let them do with that ED that money, MCC money, we propose them for energy, for cast strength with energy. If you then give with that money then, it will can do for improvement at the energy sector. The West, the East and the extent now saloon to then what I will end there. That's it, we we'll get better, better energy. So you will watch me be a good citizen for maintain the government property that within the area. So now if you see anybody or you suspect somebody they are around for good disturb, now you place for good tell us say, buddy, not disturb this thing because it will above we all. You will watch me, watch the video, like, comment, share, make a news that you watch me from. Because a salon business, now you business. Salon business, now you business. No matter which side you take. When I thank you, I will play for on insert. Long na watch and I wanna say, long na listen exactly what he say. When I thank you. Clearly, in this room, we all know say what happen, not to etsa. And uh, the hope is that as we go through this conversation, at the end. Like what Minister Ba say, we go able to understand exactly what in our sign role in the entire energy chain and uh, when it is appropriate and okay for lay point finger by ETSA, when you may want to consider what could be the other reasons why, like no day. Yeah. So uh, ETSA, we primarily mandate, as we name suggest now for distribute and supply light. Okay, that's what we are supposed to do. And uh, we came about after the passing of the 2011 Act, we on bundle NPA. Back then, Nabi NPA, uh, after we, the unbundle NPA, three entities came out EGTC, when are they generate and transmit power? ETSA, when are they distribute and supply power? And then we get EWRC. When I then they regulate, they regulate what we they do. So even as ETSA, I don't they just grab do things on my own. I have a regulatory body that I need to consult with and get approval before they move. 
uh, we supply light to the public by actually buying the power. As ETSA, we don't generate light. And this point is very important. We will all understand. Okay? We know they generate light. Now buy with the buy. And they will buy them. Then we sell. What we sell, the hope is that the end user, we don't contract with service. Either through prepaid meters or postpaid meters. We'll pay for the light where they don't use. And then we will take that money back and go buy again and repeat the cycle. Now, uh, when President Bio took over government in uh, 2018, and I just state some facts because I'll put context on the conversation. Okay, when President Bio came in 2018, the amount of light we would use, in particular in our free town, we we'll say peak on Monon on which they had a network, was just about. 52 megawatts of power. Okay. And at that time, as ETSA, we total number of customers that be about 194,000 customers. Fast forward to now, what has happened? The demand on the network okay, is about 72 megawatts of power. More than almost 50% now, now to increase that demand in terms of our peak utilization, okay? The customer base, they also increase from 190 to over 320 megawatts. I mean, 320,000 customers. Now, what does this mean? Over the past five, six years, as a government, we don't increase the access to power from about 16% to today, we will see the at roughly 36%. The one thing about light is that uh, as you begin to supply light, the demand they go up. Light, not they ever do. But we sit at the position we're in, now shape, we the shape light. And we the only shape waiting we get. Okay? Over the same period, when we don't experience huge growth in demand, the reality is that uh, the rehabilitation and expansion of this network not only really keep up with the demand for power. Okay? So now, what has happened is, because as a government, we do provide more light, more people are now demanding more power, and what that means now is, uh, we self as a government, we don't do quite a lot, and I'll highlight some of them, in terms of making sure more power is accessible, because we don't go from the 52 megawatts to about 72 now, as peak utilization. The actual amount of peak power demanded in Freetown is about uh, 120, 130, based on our own rough estimates there. And the reality is the current network where we get, okay, we can only safely evacuate about 70, 75 megawatts of power. Okay? So we have a city, Freetown, that is where if all my one get light at the same time, 24 hours a day, I need for send up to 120 megawatts of power. But the reality is the network, the state of the network today, if I want to safely, I have to operate within 70 to 75 megawatts. If I mistake, say because I get all this pressure and I want to give all my light, therefore I send everything through we may not have a network. So these are the realities and these are things that we have to manage on a daily basis.